hello guys welcome to this video in this video we will start working on our header settings header settings is the most important settings of any blog or any website okay so in the header settings we have a lot of settings okay and I will only cover that we need okay that are important settings other settings that we will not be needing in future I will not cover those settings okay so first setting is about the logo the important setting in, lo in logo settings we have two options custom image logo and display site title if you remember when we set up our wordpress we entered the site title as health so if you want that title to appear all you need to do is click on display site title and save changes if you don't want your logo okay if you want just title then display site title click on display site title save changes and refresh and see we will have our title see health and this is the uh, the slogan basically that we wrote when we set up the database oh, sorry when we set up the wordpress okay but we don't want it we don't want the site title we want our logo to be here to do that click on custom image logo and here upload your logo upload files i have a logo that i just i have on desktop i will use that logo uh, here it is no not this one let me see this one okay I'm gonna use this open select okay this is the logo I'm gonna save changes okay the recommended size is this 190 pixels is width and 60 pixels is height when your logo is in this dimension your logo will be perfect for this theme okay make sure it is in this dimension this logo right here I photoshopped it and make it with this dimension I make it like this dimension okay save changes refresh and see we will have our logo on here see now we have our logo like uh, now you can see we have a, a lot of space above this logo and a lot of space below this logo we can change this space okay so let me show you where we can change this space here we have 50 pixels margin from top and 15 pixel margin from bottom so we can change it to zero zero now same changes now we will not have a lot of space there will be space but not a lot of space okay so let's refresh see now we don't have a lot of space above and below okay so for example if you uh, if you want this space to be removed to you you don't want this space white space right here you can change it to z negative for example if I change this to negative 5 and here negative 5 and see more uh, space will be reduced from top and bottom okay see more space will be removed see now we have five pixel more from uh, five people five pixel more is reduced from top and five pixel more is reduced from bottom so you can do it in the negative but uh, I will recommend you to make it zero because that's the uh, good idea to keep it okay so now we have the best settings for our logo okay the next thing is full width logo we don't want it don't turn it off just keep it right this because when you turn on it and you have a big logo that logo will cover a lot of space and your blog will look to will look will not look good okay so keep it as it is so the next setting is center the logo if you want your logo to be in the center you can turn this on but nobody wants the logo in the center but if you want you can turn this on okay the next second the next setting that we have is header top area setting header top area is this this right here this area okay this uh, gray area you see contact us about us on this area is the top header if you want to uh, have this top area keep it enabled but if you don't want that make it disable okay now you can see uh, we can also have today's date here if you want okay if you want today's date on this bar top head bar just turn this feature on today's date so let me refresh it and you will see today's date on this left side so let me refresh it and see now we have today's date on the left side okay if you want it I always keep the today's date it looks good in here okay you can also change these settings or format of the date but keep it as it is I will uh, recommend you to keep it as it is okay now you can see we have search here if you want to disable it disable it from here okay live search search live search uh, is basically the is basically the drop drop down search when we type something and there is a drop down that is basically the live search see this is the live search if you want it 
keep it enabled social icon if you want here keep it enabled now right now we have only one okay so I will cover social icons in depth in the upcoming videos okay so we will have best settings of our social icons and I will sh uh, show you that uh, how we can create it we will use some plugins and almost 90% of bloggers use that plugins okay and I will cover that in depth so don't worry the next second settings we have is main navigation setting main navigation is this right here this is called main navigation so if you want to turn this off you don't want this main navigation turn this uh, make it disable but nobody want this now we have another button here which is, which is random article when you click on it you will see a random article from our blog okay so if you don't want it disable it okay now you can see stick the navigation menu this navigation menu sticks when we scroll down and when we go up it stays stick so let me show you now I'm gonna move up and that uh, bar will be stick see this bar is sticked so this is called stick okay so you can turn this off if you want so if you want the uh, your logo to also be in this bar you can upload from here okay but uh, I will not recommend you because nobody I think does that but if you want you can always upload or and you can choose the default logo that we just upload okay alright the next thing is responsive settings keep it as it is because our web uh, our blog is already in responsive so keep it as it is the next thing is breaking news that you can see here I always turn this off it doesn't look good okay I always turn this off but you can keep it if you want so to, to turn this off breaking news click on it disable it and save changes refresh now it will be gone see it is gone you can also change other settings in the breaking news for example when you have breaking news you can change its animation effect you can select the category where the breaking news should be coming whether you want to choose it from tags or you can add custom text it is all this box is all about the breaking news but we have disabled it we don't need to mess with this okay so I hope you guys now understand how we can change our header setting how we can change change this bar setting search and this one right here so thank you guys for watching this video in the next video I will cover archive settings and post settings